What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef! Fall is here. The leaves are falling and have changed color from green to vibrant yellows and reds. The air is getting cooler and the sun is setting earlier, which means we need to finish our garden harvest before it drops below freezing. We have been blessed with beautiful autumn weather this year, with daytime temperatures still reaching above 20 degrees Celsius. So we are taking in every last ounce of warm sun and enjoying our time outside. All right, our sugar baby watermelons. How many do we got, Veronica? We got one. That guy's a small one, but we can still eat him. And that Here, one. can you put him down there? And that one. Yeah. Three. Look at him. He's. I bet you he's sweet. He's got a yellow spot on the bottom. Door, mm. dice, six. A little bit awkward and heavier to grab. The heavy one. Seven. I'll leave them. How many we got there, kiddo? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. You okay. got six? Let's start pulling these. I might come across another one. We'll see. Look, it is all brown. Here you go, kiddo. Put the corn in there. Corn, you got the corn. Did you know, kiddo, that yeah. each one of these little strands have to be pollinated by a bee in order for each individual kernel to grow? Hopefully they grow a little bit more, but they are growing. Put a rella one over here that did really well. There you go. What the farmers do. Yes, and oh, harvest I heard one on all of our tomatoes too. Look at them all, they're all ready. Wow, okay. that's a lot of tomatoes. Tomatoes are pick all the red ones, yeah. I think they're good. Picked all the red ones. To carry that bucket. Should we see what our watermelons look like? This isn't the biggest one, but it was one of the mid sized ones. So let's check her out. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. It's not as red as I thought it would be. You just have to remember to spit the black seeds out. Hmm. Very sweet. Mmm. Mmm. You're good. Don't mess it up. Well, Daddy can put the big pumpkin over there, maybe. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> I know, but that girl went the pumpkin and go no. like this. Edmonton Corn Maze is an interactive corn maze planted on a 15 acre plot of land. Try and grow corn like this next year? Yeah. The maze takes one to two hours to complete and be prepared to get lost. Between harvesting our garden, spending time outdoors and enjoying the fall activities, we have been busy, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Autumn to us is about family, harvest, and of course, Canadian Thanksgiving, which is right around the corner. Look at this, there's one down here too, honey. See? Oh, there is, right here. Two of them. You get in the little slot up here. Okay, can you turn that? Put your hand underneath. Take it for my hand. You see them, don't you?
You're going into the chicken coop. Next weekend, we'll eat one. Oh, look at you! <laughs> Did you have fun? Try again. <laughs> oh, which one are you going for? That one? Cool. Here, I'll push on the other side. Oh, you look at you go. Okay, mommy's next. Okay. I would try one of the outside ones. Oh, you're gonna dip it. I would watch out. Oh, no. I'm gonna tip it. No, you won't. No. <laughs> I'll tip it. Uh, your turn. I know, I bet you that's all their farm equipment. That was crazy. You give a sick pig. Ointment. Ha <laughs> ha. Good morning, guys. Today we are going to smoke some salmon. Uh, some smoked candy salmon. It uh, should be fun. Uh, we take uh, some salt and sugar and maple syrup and mix it all in a brine together. Let it sit overnight. Uh, cure cure the meat so you pull it out, put it on the racking, let it sit for a few hours till it's about see-through. And then once it's see-through, you take the, the meat, you put it in your smoker, cold smoke it, and uh, you have smoked candy salmon. Uh, should be fun. Let's do it. So we got pretty much all the park done. Turned out pretty good. Look for pirates. See any? Don't see any. Pirates! Oh no! You see any pirates? Well, we've had a beautiful fall. It is a nice foggy morning outside and a, a brisk zero degrees Celsius. So it's definitely hitting those freezing temperatures and it is time to put the trailer away for winter. A little sad, we won't be putting it in the shop this year. However, um, we're gonna put it beside the shop so maybe we could do some work in there.
So we got the trailer all put away for winter. This year we're not putting it in the shop. We decided to leave it outside so we can work on the Winnebago. Work in our shop, hint, hint. Yeah, where are you planting them? We're doing aliens and we're planting there. I also got some tulips started. Let's see. These are hardy for zone three to seven or three to nine. We are zone three. So we'll see. And they need to be in the south area, full sun. Those are all of our other wildflowers. They need to be protected and they grow nice and tall. The biggest thing about gardening in Canada is just to do a little bit each year, right? And uh, see what works and learn from your mistakes. That's what we've been doing. We just, you know, pick pick a few varieties each year, plant them, see how they do. And uh, especially being in a zone three climate, it's a little hard because everything has got to be frost and minus 40 tolerant. And... But for the most part, you can get some pretty hardy vegetation that lasts a long time. You at the top? Wow, look at that. I'll meet you up the ladder. Did you try this slide yet? No slide. Yeah. You did? All right, everybody, hot mess here. <laughs> it's been um, a very busy fall season so far. So we got uh, 50 some jars of pickled carrots, all different types. We got the sweet, we got the spicy, we got the garlic and the dill. I'm working on some cucumbers now. Um, I was a few days late after getting them out of the garden. Usually I like to pull them from the garden and get them directly into the brine. Going into the brine in here, which is just salt water, let them soak. And another container here of some homemade chili from our garden. So I've done a couple batches now of spaghetti, uh, spaghetti, pasta sauce, whatever you want to call it. Froze that. Now I'm getting some chili frozen. Um, I also have a whole bunch of cabbage and there's a whole bunch more back there as well. So I'm thinking of maybe uh, pre-making some cabbage rolls and freezing them for the seasons. Also possibly making some cabbage roll soup because I have more tomatoes. And uh, last year we did a whole bunch of pasta sauces. This year I think I just want to have a whole bunch of, uh, you know, chili soups, uh, spaghetti sauces, just fill our deep freeze full of that hearty, quick uh, grab and go dinners because we are a busy family. We're coming to a close here and in the next few weeks, we're gonna look at planting our garlic around the Canadian Thanksgiving. And uh, we got our first frost this morning. You can tell the ground's all looking a little bit crisp and white. So usually, oh, and look at this. The kids got the Christmas music playing. <laughs> Can we just get through fall first? I'm just kind of excited to get our kitchen all cleaned up here. It's been a mixture of pickling salts, cans, vegetables. Oh, I just want to talk.
Well, just pull in the last of the tomatoes here. Uh, we've had a couple light frosts now. Uh, fortunate that that didn't happen until mid-September. Like usually it's uh, September long weekend at the very latest. We get hard, hard frosts, but uh, yeah, we've been very fortunate. So we're pulling the last of the tomatoes, but the garden's looking pretty uh, bare and spruce, whatever you want to call it. Even notice him. 